If you're struggling to grasp the concept of acceptance in practical terms, take a moment to think of the millions of people with disabilities that affect their senses, mobility or ability to communicate. Rather than surrendering or fighting futilely against their challenges, they find ways to work around them. Hitten Bawa is an artist and architect who can only hear with the aid of implants and he's focusing his creative energy on bridging the gap between people with disabilities and the able-bodied world. It's a task that demands a special set of talents and abilities as Kriya discovered. Hitten had arranged to meet Kriya at a home he designed for a client to give her an idea of his style and thinking as an architect and an artist. Without the electronic implants in his ears, he then would be living in a world of silence. But he's a young man who radiates energy and who's definitely worth paying attention to. Hi, Hiten, how are you? Hi, Kriya. Come you? inside. Thank you so much. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Tell me a little bit more about the house. So this is a three-bedroom and sweet house. I designed it to be a family home for my clients. A contemporary style, neat and clean and simple. What was the inspiration behind the design? I didn't look at the condition of a style and the side of a stand. This house had the oak tree in the front garden, which is kind of in the way of planning. So have to plan the space around the tree. What are some of the standout pieces in the house? My favorite part of the house is the wooden staircase. We can deliver from the wall in the lounge. Your engineer must have not been happy with you. It was a very stressful time between us and uh, <laughs> I wasn't very happy with the design. And also, they to say that an architect dream is the engineer nightmare. What else is there in the house? There's the master bedroom upstairs. So what have you created here? This is the um, North Face house and there's the master bathroom and there's the walking cupboard and there's the master bedroom which is facing north, which is overlooking the garden and the golf course which is across the road. What's very interesting is you've taken something that most people would consider a hurdle or a disability and have started incorporating it into your work. I have recently completed an internal renovation of a retirement home in Pretoria. The client is a person using a wheelchair and we couldn't access a new retirement home. So my job is to make it more accessible and comfortable for him to live in. You used to work for a disability firm and now you've decided to go out on your own. Yes, um, I've been going on for three years now and um, there's been a lot of up and down and it was quite a journey to be freelancing and working for myself as a, as a boss. I know that your first love is painting and I think there is a piece in this house. Yes, there is. Let me show you. Yeah. This is my painting and it's about Indian culture and Indian garden in particular. I try to capture the color, the style, the spin and the movement of dancers at the ceremony before the Indian wedding. And is this part of a series? Yes, it is. I have more outdoors at my studio which I'll have to show you. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, well, I come to my studio. That's where I do my magic. <laughs> <laughs> and it does really look like magic. Yeah. Tell me a bit more about these pieces. So my current piece is focusing on South African Indian culture and classical Indian dance. I've been exploring the idea of being South African Indian and a person with a disability, profoundly deaf. So I've been exploring hand sign and classical Indian dance, South African sign language and classic hands. Time. What was the inspiration behind it, the ladies that are in the pieces? So there's a portrait the based on the photograph I found, have a very nice quality to it, so I decided to paint a portrait of her. So the first one at the top referred to Johannesburg. The second hand sign is a South African sign language for F. The third one, a classical Indian dance, which means threat. Okay, so because the photograph was taken in the nation, I'm referring to the Indian community in Indonesia and that how it is symbolize the threat of the community. And the last one is the classical Indian dance for blooming lotus flowers. Let me show you some of my piece. 
This is the one of my earlier pieces that focus on Johannesburg Taxi Hand Sign, so it's basically an A to Z of all the towns around Johannesburg that is associated with the hand sign. You will see that it's actually a map of this area superimposed with the hand sign. But besides doing all of this, you've also been commissioned to do a few pieces for a couple of corporate companies. My recent collaboration with the company was the Art and Culture Trust and JP Morgan. They provided a mentor to work with me and to critique my work and challenge me with new ideas. Out of this program, I created four artwork pieces for JP Morgan South African offices, which focused on South African Indian culture, incorporated in classical Indian dance and hand sign. This commission piece was by a family friend. She sent me a photograph of herself in a Bharatanatyam dress and she wanted me to do a painting of her, similar to my other current piece. Where did your love for art come from? I have no idea where it started from. I think it came from inside me. Um, I always feel the need to draw, to pen, to create something, burst something. How has your disability influenced you as an artist? My disability does not define who I am. It's part of my identity and it gives me a different perspective of the world around me. What advice would you give to young South Africans who may have a disability or are just struggling to kind of find their place in the world? I would say just be yourself and don't let your disability limit you from achieving your dreams and you can be any person that you can dream of becoming. So what are your future plans? I'm going to Japan for a two-week artist residency with a group of international artists. I'm so excited about it and it's going to be my first artist residency. After this, there will be more art coming out of my work and also my architectural work as well. Well, thank you so much for chatting to me and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure meeting you too.